Hey folks, EZ here, aka Ed Rock. Hope everybody's doing all right. Um, just wanted to share a little video of uh, an invention I made. Um, I've always needed to be able to feed my fish when I've been out on business trips or away from the house for a weekend or a few days. And uh, I've always wanted to be able to do it remotely by remote controlling a computer or a device or something inside the home and then telling it to feed the fish. So uh, without further ado, I'll show you a way that I came up that accomplishes that. Um, well, <laughs> and then I'll tell you a little bit about a more comp some more complicated ways that I, I think I'll improve upon it or possibly redo it later. So, here we go. For this demonstration, I'm just going to put an algae wafer in here, but um, normally it would be... Uh, Gold, for, well, this one, goldfish food also. So um, I've got a CD-ROM with a cable attached to it coming down to essentially a basket or a bucket that I made um, out of a, uh, it's one of the fasteners for the blinds that go over your windows. And I just covered up the holes that were in it with uh, masking tape. And then I used a metal skewer like you would grill out with and then put a straw over it so that it could freely rotate and taped the uh, bucket to the straw. That way it can rotate, you know, back and forth. So without further ado, here we go. We get the food out and we'll make this happen. Um, and the point is I can remote into any computer or a device that's on my um, network from wherever I'm at. You know, it'll go through my router when I, when I configure it and then um, can just tell the issue a command to eject the CD-ROM from, like I said, anywhere in the world that has an internet connection. So, here we go. Got my Pleco glass cleaner fish that like these algae wafers, and I think some of the other bottom feeder guys do too. So, here's my little device. Put a little piece of food in there, or like I said, maybe a, um, a whole bunch of flake food. And... Let me eject the drum. Not quite that time, but you get the picture. Tilted most of the way forward. Let's try it one more time. Obviously, I'm going to need to adjust the cable tension or you know, length. Or I just kind of was being. Still using some computer wires to do this, so um, string or something more straight and sturdy that's less likely to change how much it's pulling back and forth is probably better. But try it one more time. Get all the fishies in there now. Pull up, and there it goes, end of the tank. So if you've enjoyed my video, feel free to like it or respond or whatever. I don't know if I'm, I guess I'll put it on Facebook and YouTube. All right, everybody have a good day. Holla, holla, holla. Bye-bye.